guys. What's on the up? table. Yeah. Just laying everything down. Yeah. So we think. We're going to be. Yes, we're going to yeah. be having a very great topic. Kind of serious. Very serious. Mm. Very, very serious. I mean. Serious. We're not talking about. Not very, very, very. Appointed yeah. The ministry. Uh, <laughs> God. It is a very serious topic it's into mad. our own caliber. Mm. Okay. Um, do you even know what you're saying? I don't even caliber. know. Caliber. It is? Caliber. Mm, it's what? Hi, please highlight. Literally, it's your own department. <laughs> Okay, coming from <laughs> tin, um, no, traces of vocabularies. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so uh, you know what time it is? It's at the time where we get to bring to you a certain topic mm -hmm. and three of us get to dish out our opinions as well as giving you the opportunity to do the same through our social media platforms and to yeah. also uh, suggest us any sort of topic that you would like us uh, to share. And uh, from now on, we're going to be posting our topics on our stories. We Casey did already. Story, yes. So if you have anything to say, just just go on there, type something, anything that you want, express yourself, and then we'll be able to showcase uh, your comments right here on the screen. Mm -hmm. Here you go. So today we're going to be, uh, you know, talking about this issue of, you know, we have just seen it, like, from around us, the normal lives that we live, and we have seen Ababita, uh, Aba, Aba, it's a good day in French, I've forgotten. You want to speak uh, French? Fiemer. Yes, right? <laughs> don't ask me. Don't know. Yes, Single parents, yes, uh, Fiemer and yes. those guys. Yeah. So do you think that a person who gave birth already or people who have children uh, uh, should... Single mothers. Yes, yeah, single mothers. Single fathers. Yeah. And maybe the divorced ones or whatever. So do you think that uh, they should uh, lower their standards in the relationship world because they are, you know, you know, they have this thing that they have, which is the child? Yes, or how, how, what does the question say? Let me read it for you. So, uh, let's see. Give me a minute. No. A minute. <laughs> no. No, say who is you? Okay. Is me. Anyway. Is yeah, minute? so I got it already just this loading. Are you for real? Yeah, go. But let okay. me just, okay, here. The question is, uh, wait, uh, does... does mm -hmm. Being a parent, no. lower, your, lower your standards in the dating scene. Not scene. In the yes, dating world. world. That's so I have it. Thing. I have it. I got it. Dating so, is not a scene. Sh a scene as the S C E N S. I know it's not a scene. It is. Keep, don't it embarrass is. yourself. I got. I got the topic. So we have it, guys. So does having children lower your value in the dating world or your standards? So what do you think? Should it even lower your standards in the first place because you have a child, or should you be like any other normal girl who is out there or any other boy who is out there? Oh God, why is it always me that starts? But anyway, let me just say this. So, oh my God, what's wrong with this piece? Okay, so mm -hmm. here's the thing. Anyone who loves you and anyone who cares about you, that person will not uh, hate you or stop loving you because you have a child. One, a child is a blessing from God. Let's not ignore that or let's not, to, let's not uh, ignore to say that, mm -hmm. that a child is a blessing from God. Secondly, if a child is there, right, mm -hmm. and a guy comes and he loves you because you have a child, mm -hmm. there is so much respect you earn for, for him or her. There's so much uh, respect that you actually gain from them, that they actually also uh, get from you because already they see what you're going through, mm -hmm. but you still wake up and smile because it's something that is not easy, right? So I believe and also stand uh, on my grounds to say that it's actually, um, it shouldn't hinder the dating process because if it didn't work out with with uh, guy X or guy Y or girl X, it doesn't mean it's the end of the dating journey. We have seen many people out there who have rebuilt their lives, who have um, gone to track, who have done all it takes to get their happiness back. So to me, I'm not going to object anything that affects the, the dating process. No, it doesn't. Actually, it gives you a true image of the person you're going to date. If this person is actually going to respect your child and love your child, then that person loves you for real. And there is no way you would 
um, how can I say it? You would you would deny this person love because they've showed your child love. They they take them to you know uh, recreation centers. They take them to you know swimming. They take them for everything, ice cream, beat everything that they can do to show a child that they love them. Mm. So to me, I will definitely go with uh, the positive part of this. You can still find love even when you have a child. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So me, what I think is to the part or to the side of, uh, you know, the females, or let me just say if I am the one who is a single parent, if I am single, it, I shouldn't lower my standards because I, I have a child, you know, we all have expectations, we all have who or, you know, what we look for in people. So if you have those set goals that you have set on you, I mean, for yourself, if you want this guy who is maybe you know, just five feet or who is tall, who is just like that. Because you giving born to a baby doesn't uh, delete the fact that you're a person. So you should stick with your um, standards, who you want. It can still happen. It doesn't mean that if you have given birth, you will just stop being yourself. You will stop being you. You'll still be cute if you're cute. You will still have all the details that you have. So it shouldn't stop you from having your standards. That's what I think. Yeah, so I feel like, first of all, where the topic even came from is that sometimes uh, we've seen this in movies or actually in real life because uh, these things actually happen. Once you have a child and then unfortunately you either divorce uh, with yeah. the, the baby daddy or uh, you had a child and you were still dating and then at the end it doesn't work out or uh, your spouse unfortunately passes away, sometimes the reason to why uh, the question is does having a child lower your standards mm -hmm. or... Uh, you, stuff like that it yeah. means because once you have a child sometimes people feel like in the dating world in the dating scene you're just Not looking there. for anything mm. at this point you have no choice you have given up and you're like you know what at this point if i'm to find love i'm just going to go for whatever mm. finds there mm. so that that's where the factor comes of lowering your standards mm. that means you still don't have the traces that you had when you yeah. were single mm. and you had no other responsibilities because right now you have a child mm looking for your the love of your life sometimes not at the top priority, priority yeah. because you have to pay for your child's school fees the taking care and you know single mothers or single parents mm. at a whole that is their sole responsibility their children so sometimes the exterior factors mm. don't matter as much as your child mm. so when that factor of okay now i have some time let me look for a partner let me do this so and then the other people, when they're looking for um, women, and then they find out they have a child, sometimes they're like, oh, what, wait, wait, what happened? It brings happened? this awkward. Exactly, yeah. it's awkward. So why didn't it work out? In mm. case the person, the spouse either didn't die, mm. they, they wonder, why didn't it work out? What's this and this? And I feel like that's really wrong because the fact that a, when you're going to fall for a person, you fall for them no matter what. Yeah. And then the fact that they have an additional blessing, which is the child, does not take away their value. Mm -hmm. That is what I feel like. And man, th these things, should, we should actually, it, it should be the new normal. The, the, we shouldn't judge those who probably had a child out of wedlock or and circumstances happen because yeah. you never know someone's story mm -hmm. and you never know what happened so that they have a child and they end up being single so we need to treat all those people with respect and i feel like it doesn't lower their standard just because they have a child because they're equal and i hope well, the, the other factor that comes in is that other person coming to their life are they going to love that that person's that child, child yeah. as their own mm. are they going to treat them with respect and kindness or are they going to feel like oh that's not my child so i really shouldn't Try to be, yeah. Effort, yeah. Speaking about uh, external factors or whatever, I think just all it, it all starts with what you accept to understand or go by as a, a single parent. Maybe somebody said you should go like this because you gave birth, or maybe the society said this and this. Coming back to the society, what do you think about people? There's this image that we already see, you know. Like for example, if I am still, uh, you know, like single and I don't have a kid, I won't take a guy who has kids to my parents' house saying that I want to get married, you know? There's this culture that we have of, you know, putting or viewing people who have given birth to, to babies before getting married or even after getting married that they're giving it a shot. There's this thing that we have set, we have put them in a box of them being other, you know, people who are not normal as we are. So don't you think that that also contributes to how they, you know, they feel and how they lower the, their standards and how they see things? Because mm -hmm. a guy, you know, when you, meet a guy and he says i have kids 
you know, you can't even get back. Yes. And when you're a guy, you meet a girl who has kids, you're like, mm -mm, this is not going to work. And you think even about, you know, like I'm just telling you, I, it's just rare for you to go with a guy who has kids at your house and you tell your dad, you're like, yes. you know what, dad? I met a guy and he's this one because they start so with the background check. So, first place, you couldn't find that mm. single man who had no children. You went and found a guy who had children. I feel like it becomes so like right. a taboo. What yeah. do, What do you guys think about that? So, I I think it's 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 not. Is it wrong to give blame. birth? I'm 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 just I'm adding in a question. <sighs> it is not wrong to give birth, like I said. It is a blessing from the Almighty Lord, and I don't believe in people who try to uh, push away these people uh, that have given birth before marriage. Mm. I don't believe in that because it is something that we should actually. They actually need people. They don't need people to chase them away. They don't need people to isolate them. They don't need people to, 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 to judge them. They need people to be there and remind them, you're beautiful, you're still worthy, you are still a beautiful lady, you're still a handsome man, you're still... You know, they want people to keep telling them this. So you're not going to be there and then you, you're judgy because even you yourself, you're not perfect. If we went to see who is perfect and who is not perfect, you would rather find that person even has less imperfections than you who doesn't even have... who thinks you don't have imperfections. Mm -hmm. So let's create a world full of love than hate because when a world is full of love, more than hate, it actually gives more love than it gives much of criticism. I don't know what's wrong with people that give criticism a lot. I don't even know what, what joy they get from it or they get from it because you tell someone, oh, you shouldn't have done that, or someone tells you and you're so alarmed, like it's such a very big deal. <laughs> like, why is it such, like, <gasps> like what, what is the big deal out of it? Uh -huh. The big deal out of it is, it is something that happened. Yes, it is a misfortune that happened. Yeah. Yeah. That I, I, I could the I, wrong time. Exactly. Yeah. It was the wrong not time. Yeah. They planned. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It was the wrong time, but it doesn't mean that it is the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. No, and rather, I have gotten a blessing. Yes. Right? So, uh, people who push and isolate people who have had children before were. Before marriage. What they call marriage. Mm. Let me say it is not right. It is not right at all. We should be full of love. Be close to them. Show them love. Um, you know, sometimes they also need therapy. They need counseling. They're going through a lot. But you see them and you think they're just fine. They're not. So let's just be close to them. Let's love them. Rather than pushing them away. Rather than, uh, you know, even parents. Mm. Even parents. You should actually show that you love them even more yeah. so that they don't go and you commit suicide. You would die birth when you're still at your parents' house. Oh, God. It becomes a... Some celebrity. parents are nice, baby. Yeah. Some, but a few of them, I'm just saying from, you know, the people that we know and even experience. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Well, I feel like, like Tracy's point, she was saying, all those, we shouldn't isolate them. I believe everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so if you happen to have a child out of wedlock, it's sometimes... It, a child is always a blessing, guys, mm -hmm. in disguise. So these people shouldn't be isolated. They should be uh, celebrated in society the same way other people are celebrated. Yeah. So if uh, you actually have your time off, your child is either with like your mother, your grandma is babysitting, and you have your night off and you decide to go on, on a date, yo, that's, that's your time for it's yourself. Just, and then you yeah. meet a guy who is even so judgy and mm -hmm. is just asking you and putting you on the spot. It's like, so what happened, guys? That's not what we should do. Society just needs to change its mindset and we need to step out of the box and embrace these things that happen in our surroundings, in our, in our, in our, in our societies and believe, yo, the world is changing. First of all, we're not a century past. We're not in the 90s where everything was just a taboo. And I feel like, yeah, of course, parents have a huge role to play because <laughs> they can throw you out of the house sometimes. Those who don't understand. Well, yeah, it's never parents. I believe we should yeah. also really push on to parents because parents are the first people that love you truly. Yeah. Over. Your parents love you. I don't know parents and even though it their children. Them, even though it shocks them, mm. with time they yeah, go on to time they, I mean, it's everyone. With time they do, but you find that they have already done some But harm. you can't no, blame them. No, you can't them. blame them because yeah, you, you know, can't blame them. Yeah, I'm not blaming yeah. them, but it happens. You know, we have seen so many testimonies of young girls who are just from their homes because they did so. And at the end of the day, you just find that we are doing more harm than good. Have you found those girls who... Uh, 
like misfortunately like get uh, pregnant and then you find that they want to go to you know uh, how do they call them illegal doctors to get you know an abortion an abortion or get those uh, uh, how they, the drugs that they use and everything and you find in the process that they even lose their lives or they have some side effects because of that thing that society yes. and people they are being too, too judgy, to talk yeah to their they're too scared to come that. out and you know they're just like what are they going to be saying, whatever. So it's just too much. And you find that sometimes people don't think about it when they're going to judge or utter words out there. But sometimes it does more harm than good. Mm. Yeah. I think it's true. For parents, like when we're talking about parents, for parents, I, I, I can't blame them, right? I can't blame them for their reaction or for what they might do, right? Because sometimes your parent wishes you the best, remember. Your parent, Iaba Kwanga, they wouldn't have paid for your school fees all your life. Now on the moon, who are going to go school fees at home? right? So there is no way you can tell me what your parent does. It is out of love. Yeah. Because what they wish, what they it's wish, and what they want, no, 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 what they wish, so is, 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 is yes, of out of you. Okay, okay. Why, why they're trusting you, or why they're telling you to get out of the house, or why their their reaction at then, why are they reacting like that? It is not because they hate you. They're shocked. The, the shock After level the that they are yeah. at, you know, you're like, what? <laughs> what is this? You're going to think of me? Yeah, Nabo, yes, come on, what are other and... parents going to think of me? You know, what is what are our neighbors going to say? People are going to say I'm a bad parent. Yeah, Nabo, that's that's how, you know, why? so I I, I, I get as them. The society. Because, like, guess, okay, let me ask you one thing. Look uh -huh. what Gango, they, okay, I know that they love us, you know, but when, when, when you're a parent and you sit, may, maybe after you being angry and after all of that, when you chase your own kid out of your house, who do you think she's going to run to? I know, personally, I Because sometimes it becomes to too child. much. But let me tell you, put yourself in, the, in your parents' shoes. Let's say your child comes home and she tells you, I'm pregnant. I know 21st century youth, we are better in terms of like our mindset and it's more broadened and we think ahead and our, our, our mindset is more cool. Mm. We can be able to be there for our child. But think about your parents back then. Like they're shocked. They don't know what to do. They feel like, oh, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. and their first instinct, not all parents, by the way, throughout their children, yeah. but those that do, I think we have to and they react unconsciously. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. And you can understand that to some extent. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that is the same thing you would do. Yeah. So for those who would do it, that's the, that's the thing that they need to understand mm -hmm. is that at the end of the day, it's still your child. And sometimes those that do it, they end up regretting in the, in the end. Unfortunately, some take their lives. And fortunately, you still find that your child is still okay. Then you can bring them back in. But it's just a whole situation we cannot control it mm. but at least we can try and make a difference yeah mm. so just a quick message from me let people not be judgy be the society be even us sometimes you even find that your friends the ones that you call your friends are the first one to even you know just Deny go out you. with the rumors and yeah. treat you different so it happens it doesn't mean that we are sending people to go out there and do things unconsciously but you know just in case it happens to you let people learn to support That's and true. you can have some new beginnings and new opportunities and you can succeed in your love life when it failed it can happen just that. true that's yeah. very true so i think everyone uh definitely has their own opinion but remember we always tell you guys this is an opinion poll we always talk about things that are um in our very own opinion so uh i think we're gonna go to the next part of the show hope you guys do not go anywhere that was the topic of the day but we're still having a lot more on the show do not go anywhere <laughs> 